So Kanye just said that he's running for president. Did that just mess up his 10 year deal that he just signed with Gap? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, we're gonna find out exactly how am I planning to play Gap ticker symbol GPS. We're gonna take a look at all of the news. What are they planning to do with Kanye and how, where is he planning to take the company? And we're gonna take a look at the charts to see exactly how we're gonna play it. Am I gonna day trade it? Am I gonna swing trade it? And how much dividends do Gap pay out? Today, we're gonna find out. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. Right now I have my Robinhood pull up. This is the brokerage that I use. If you sign up by clicking the link down in the description, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. Who knows, maybe you'll win a free stock of Gap. So I have Gap pulled up on the day they're up 1.87% to $12.51. So if we take a look at the last month, you can see clearly when Kanye made the deal and all of the news came out, Gap was down 19.17%. And the day that the news came out, it jumped from nine, down being down 19% to being down 3%. And then eventually it went up into the positive for the month to being up 0.4%. And then now it's kind of trading sideways over the last week. It's up 1.05%, kind of trading sideways. So a lot of people are, are really excited that Kanye is now the creative director of Gap, that he's coming out with his own exclusives brand for Gap. And as you can see, they bought into the company, but he's a wild dude. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did, how many shares of Gap that I buy, and then we're gonna get into the charts and to the news on why people are expecting Gap to profit in the near future. So if we scroll down just a little bit, I bought 10 shares of Gap with the average cost of $12.75. So I bought 10 shares for the market value of $125.10. Right now I'm down $2.40. So I bought 10 shares of Gap. And Gap does pay out a dividend. If we're looking at the Robinhood app, their dividend yield is expecting that this company pay out 7.9%. So we're also gonna look at trackyourdividends.com to see what um, another site says that their dividends is paying out. Their market cap is at $4.67 billion. So there's really within my range to buy Gap. I like to invest into companies that's over $500 million. I don't really don't like to invest into penny stocks. The high over the last 52 weeks is $19.82 and their low was $5.26. Where I really wish I would have bought some Gap when it was at $5.22, seeing that they're paying out a dividend yield of 7.9% according to Robinhood. So let's get into the charts and then we're gonna draw on the charts and then we're gonna get into the news to, to see if you guys wanna invest into Gap yourself after reading all of the news and then you guys come up with your own decision. But for me, I'm buying 10 shares of Gap and, and I might buy a share every week just to increase my dividend yield and my dividend payout for the year. All right, here we are on trackyourdividends.com. If you guys wanna sign up for this, this is completely free. All you gotta do is click the link down in the description and sign up. This is the tool that I use to track my dividends. Right now, my annual income is $453 on the year. My, my dividend yield is 5.32% inside of this portfolio of just all of my dividends. If we look at the stock analysis tool and type in GPS, his search. They're saying my dividend yield is 7.75%. So even more than Robinhood, I have to cross check it one more time to see the exact dividend yield, but they have an annual payment of 97 cents per share that you own at $12.51. So every share that you own, you should gain a dollar of income for the entire year. So I got 10 shares, so it should go up by around $10. If we look at the dividend safety score it is at 79 um, so it's pretty high, it's above 75. Anything above 70 is pretty good to me. If we're taking a look at the dividend history, um, in 2008, they're paying out nine cents a share. And now in 2020, they're paying out 24 cents a share. So it pretty much almost tripled in, um, in their dividend payment. So this is a pretty good dividend stock if you're getting it at the right price, um, being a believer in Kanye West. So let's go ahead back to my dashboard and type in 10 shares. New holding, GPS, 10 shares at 12, what, what did I get it at? 12.75. At 
and there you go my dividend my annual income increased by ten dollars to 462 dollars a year here we go if we're taking a look at the medium household income for an entire year um, America is around forty three thousand dollars that's how much you'll need to live in America off of your dividends and if we scroll all the way down, I have $462 that I'm going to make in dividends this year. So I can't even retire in Tongo. I can't reside, uh, retire in Zimbabwe. I can't retire in Kenya. I can't retire anywhere yet. So I, so I have a little ways to go to even to retire off of my dividend portfolio. I'm nowhere near. I would love to retire in Mexico. Let's see where's Mexico at. There you go. I need about 11,680 bucks per year from my dividends in order to retire in Mexico. I would love to retire there and Portugal. I would love to retire in Portugal. $16,186 a year to retire in Portugal. So I got a little ways to go to build up my dividends, but that's a little cool way that I keep track of my dividends, set little goals on where can I retire based off of my dividend portfolio today. And right now I got some work to do. <laughs> so let's close these out. So let's take a look at the charts. So we take a look right here on the four hour, 180 day chart of GPS. Um, let's draw some lines right here. So it, it, it kind of stayed right there for a little while. And it also showed a resistance at around 1389. So let's draw a line right there. And also it had a support and resistance on this line right here. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by support and resistance. So right here, it was a resistance. It, it touched this line at um nine dollars and 84 cents it didn't break above bam touched that line again at 84 cents didn't break above touched it again at 84 cents um nine dollars and 84 cents did not break above so it, it was showing it that it was a resistance line and then once it did finally break above it touched one time right here at its old support and now it became a resistance at um 1376 and then it broke back down to this old resistance which is now its new support bounced off of that and if we zoom in right here you guys can clearly tell when the kanye deal first came out it went from ten dollars and 29 cents all the way to fourteen dollars and 32 cents for almost 50 percent gain in a single day from the kanye west news all right so i believe just from looking at the charts that it could pull back to the uh, 180 day simple moving average the 180 day simple moving average could move up like this and then it could bounce off the 180 day simple moving average and then continue to rise up so it could fall back down to the old support line and then continue and then rise back up to the old resistant line and then break through so those are a couple of lines that i'm drawing on this chart for the 180 day simple moving average is pointing up if we was to put an arrow on the end of this line right there is pointing up if we zoom out a little bit so that's a good indication that this um, stock is in the uptrend all right so now let's get into the use kanye west strikes a 10-year deal and there is called the yeezy gap collection he closed a 10-year deal with gap over the next 10 years he will make adult in kids clothes along with shoes with um gap and within five years they expect that the yeezy gap collection would generate around one billion dollars in annual sales around year five um for context gap brings in 4.6 billion dollars in revenue a year and they're expecting kanye to be uh worth at least one billion dollars worth of that by year five so that is a pretty good deal they have a lot of uh belief in kanye west if they think that he could bring in one billion dollars uh he clearly did it for adidas with his shoe collections with adidas uh he clearly brought in at least a billion dollars worth of sneakers collections with adidas and i'm sure that his fan base is big enough and his wife is famous enough to help bring in the gap yeezy collection to the next level in fact gap um that like i said the, the stock went up 18.8 percent and they're expecting the um the closing line to drop somewhere around in 2021 on stores and in the website so around 2021 they're gonna drop the first line of yeezy gap collection which i'm pretty sure is gonna sell out the first line of anything yeezy is going to sell out almost immediately and then go for resale value after that so they're going to drop that online and in stores in fact when uh when kanye started working with adidas uh, five years ago they said it brought it began a reinsurgence for the brand so uh 
Kanye even helped Adidas out with his shoe brand when he first started off at Nike, but then he moved to Adidas because of disagreements or a contract deal. Now he's even helping Adidas out. So I, so I think that he'll be able to do a good job with Gap. Okay, so almost a couple of hours after he said that he was running for president, um, Kanye West trademarked the name West Day Ever. West Day Ever. He trademarked it so he could use it on the clothing and footwear after signing a 10 year deal with Gap. So uh, he's making strategic move already, West Day Ever. Uh, so Adidas won't be able to use that. Only Kanye West could use it with Gap. Uh, West Day Ever, I'm pretty sure that's going to be on a shirt or something somewhere. I guarantee it if he took the time out to trademark it. So um, he's already making strategic moves to brand himself within the Gap collection. In fact, if we take one more look, he brought on Mawalala as his uh, creative director to help spearhead the Kanye Gap collection. She, she, um, she is in, yeah, that's what she makes right there. All right, so, uh, <laughs> and, and she makes clothes like that. So she makes clothes that is, um, question the sexuality that doesn't really fit. You can't say this is women clothes and you can't say this is men clothes. That's the kind of clothing line that she wear. And Kanye West um, brought her on as a partnership with him to be appointed as the creative director right there. So uh, Mawalala, I think that um, she's gonna be working side by side with Kanye as the creative director or he brought her on or the deal was exclusive between the two of them. But um, as I can see, they're two minds working together. Either you're gonna have some, just a white t-shirt with Kanye name on it, or you're gonna have some crazy uh, Yeezy collection designs with her spearheading as the creative director. So it'll be exciting to see exactly what these two creative geniuses can put their mind to in order to re make a resurgence for a gap. All right, YouTube, and we're back. So um, the most exciting thing that I see about Gap is uh, me making a dollar for every share that I own. I eventually want to get 100 shares of Gap, and then I can start doing some sell put options on Gap. Uh, I do believe that um, at least in 2021, when his collection first come out, that Gap is going to have a, a surge in their stock price when his first collection first comes out because Kanye West clothing and shoe line all have a very high high resale uh, value and I do believe that he would help Gap out since their company has been on a decline the last five years. I think that he could give them the little edge, the little burst that they need in order to get them over the hump, over their little, over their competitors. So, so far I have 10 shares of Gap. If you guys want to use Track Your Dividends, it's completely free to sign up. I will leave a link to that down in the description. Also, I use Robinhood in here. If you sign up for that, you'll get a free share and I'll get a free share. And also, I use the Think or Swim platform to draw my charts. If you sign up with TD Ameritrade, it's completely free. You sign up for that and then just download Think or Swim to sign up. Other than that, if you go down to the comment section, let me know what you guys think Kanye brand is going to be like, his Yeezy Gap collection is going to be like, do you think it's going to be something crazy dumb or do you think it's going to be something super simple like a plain white t-shirt? And while you're down there in the comment section, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out this channel a lot. And also subscribe and join the Dream Team. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.